respect him for everything. I know what type of guy he is. So try to go out there and get better and keep getting everybody respect. How fresh you feel coming off the bye week? And what did you do with your time? I feel good. I mean, we still had practice, but I made sure I spent more time getting treatment on my body, making sure I could be close to 100% as possible for this next stretch. Did, did you guys feel, uh, I guess, did you feel pretty good going into it, considering like the context of everything you guys have kind of done, or, you know, in terms of the defense, uh, getting off the field? I think you guys have faced the second least amount of plays yet this season. Has that, did you feel that at all? Yeah, you can feel it. Body's been feeling good. Less sore, you feel me? So we, we've been coming out to practice with a lot more energy, I feel like, and then we're, we're working out for us. How do you think the corners have played as a group to this point of the season? I think we're playing good. Like, always we feel like we could have made more plays than uh, what we want, but for the most part, we're doing our job. I feel like we got the best corners in the nation. Were there areas of focus, uh, going back to what Travis was asking during the bye week, that you felt that maybe you had to tighten up personally or that you guys as a group had to work on? Um, like I said, being healthy, that was my main thing. That was my main thing through about it. UMass has pretty high ranks in the country as far as explosive plays go. Um, how do you stop that? How do you stop a team from trying to get the big play? That might be a tough question. <laughs> I mean, you got to watch film for one. You know what they like to do. I feel like we, we've been... We've been watching them for a while now, so we have a good grasp on what they like to do, the shots they like to take, when they like to take them. So that's the main thing, just knowing when they like to take those shots, what plays get them down the field. You feel me? That's what I see. What's impressed you about Kalen King so far? He's consistent. He's the same guy every day, no matter what. Saturday you turn on the game, you're going to see the same elite corner every Saturday. So that's what I like. What's your relationship with him like? That's my boy. He'll probably be at the crib after this, or I'll be at his. We always hang out. We always watch film together. We always make each other better, give each other notes. That's my guy. Were you two like that as soon as you transferred here, or did it take some time to build that with him? It took some time, just because I wasn't really close with anybody when I first got here. That's just how it is when you transfer. Sure. You got to take a little bit of time to acclimate, and then um, I say <clears throat> going into that next summer after I got here, that's when I kind of started getting closer to the guys. Is part of that showing kind of what you can do on the field, even though you've got two years in, the, in college on these guys when you come in? I mean, being that new guy, you want to kind of show what you can do. And, and at what point did you maybe feel like you earned that respect as a new guy? New old guy, I should say. <laughs> I would say, um, I don't know. I, would, I want to say kind of when I got here, I feel like they knew what I could do. It was just they had, they had their guys like, I don't know. I feel like we were always. It wasn't like we had problems or anything. It's just, yeah. you know, I mean, if you if you want to get better, you just gotta understand that it's coming from a, a good place. Like you're never gonna tell you anything to hurt your feelings or to set you back. It's all to build you up. So take it how you want to take it, but you just can't be sensitive. You gotta take the good from it and learn and get better. Who'd you learn to trash talk from? I'd probably say where I'm from, Tampa, Florida. Yeah. I'm from where I'm from. You gotta show people who you are at all times, and then. If you look scared, they're not going to take you serious. So they're going to try to, you know. When, when do you know you're in a guy's head? Like, when do you know, like, oh, yeah, he's thinking about what I'm saying. He's thinking about how I'm playing, you know. Um, Little stuff. They might start stumbling off the line trying to do a release. They might drop an easy ball. Little stuff like that let me know I got him. Is Kaylin a big talker, too, or is he more on the quiet side? Yeah, you can see Kaylin. Kaylin animated with it. You can see him on the TV screen talking. He, do, he got his own little antics. Well, speaking of guys who talk, um, did you see Joey's pick over the weekend? And, and what's going through your head when you see that? I was too happy for him. I think I texted him like three messages right when I seen it. Um, he deserves that, man. Joey, I watched him put in that work. He works on his ball skills. He works on red zone all the time. He deserved it. I was happy for him. And he, he had some things to say after that. Did you notice that? And how, how, how proud? It, well, <laughs> I think he was kind of suggesting that a player was too old to be out there. <laughs> is that is that a fair assessment? Is that real? Yeah. I'm a hey, Ravens fan. A, I'd say yeah. that's fair. Joey, that's you fair. say it. Joey, you say it. So. That's, that, that <laughs> we, we've heard a few times that with Joey around last year, Kalen got a lot more targets because uh -huh. no one was throwing at Joey, and now the same thing's kind of happening this year with Kalen and you. How does that? How do you respond to that? Getting a lot more targets than the guy across from you. I love it. To be honest with you, I feel bad for Kay because I still want him to show what he can do, but. I love it. You want to throw at me? Go ahead. What do you think you've kind of proved in that regard <laughs> now that you're kind of testing quarterbacks to throw to you? We got two elite corners, so try your luck. Johnny, what was your first impression of Manny Diaz? Do you remember your first one? Oh, 
a little crazy dude, but <laughs> I love him though. Like he's he's a genius when it comes to football. He knows defense inside and out. He knows what's coming at him. I love Coach Manny and everything he's done for this defense. I feel like he's made it a much more dangerous defense. We attack the ball different. <clears throat> he's he's helped us a lot. Why'd you think he was crazy at first? No, I still think he's crazy. <laughs> but it's just, that's just who he is. That's, he fires the team up. Like, we feed off him. We need that. He's got a lot of energy. Like, it, yeah. what's the maybe craziest or most energetic thing you've seen him do? I don't even want to say that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> he's, he's intimate. Man, he's Florida guy, too. So like, yeah, he's from in Miami. The, something in the water there? Or? It's got to be. <laughs> Florida, man. What's that connection like with him being from Florida? You... You know, saying Durant, Cam Miller. Uh, we, we don't talk about it much, but it's yeah, we don't talk about that much. We just play football. We don't talk about the crib too much. So it turns out it was a fake quote from Joey. I'm sorry that I tried to put <laughs> oh, you on okay. the spot. I he wouldn't was, be surprised. Yeah, he said somebody it. Somebody was making it up. <laughs> I would not be surprised. What, <laughs> what a core value guy? in the program means the most to you? I say compete. Just like track, you only get better by running fast and racing. I feel like you only get better by going out and being at your best and someone trying to beat you at their best.